Well, it's been a rough few months, and while the world can feel like it's spinning out of control, certainly one woman is bringing a smile to her neighbor's face every week and making garbage day, garbage day, something to look forward to. Austin Love has the story. Let's be honest. 2020 has been pretty trash. Christine Guy would agree with that. It has been trash. It has. Like so many, she was out of work for weeks. Both the restaurant and salon she works at closed due to COVID. There was nothing to do. On top of that, the unexpected passing of her mother. We found out on a Tuesday that she had liver cancer and she died on Saturday morning. Just that quick? Just that quick. Needless to say, Christine needed a way to boost her spirits. How many times can you clean the living room? You know what I mean? So what she did was look to an unlikely source. The weekly trash. A friend dared her to take out the trash in a costume, and Christine put her money where her mouth is. So every two, when Monday night, uh, I change up a costume and take the trash out. In that time, she's been a flamingo, a hippie, Bob Ross, Mr. Rogers. All Halloween costumes that I've collected over the years. And today, a squirrel. A trash day trend over 20 weeks running. It gave me something to do. It made me laugh. It made my friends laugh. It just became a thing, and it's still going. Solidifying her as the neighborhood nut. Pun intended. Bob knows I'm nut. The little girl next door finds it amusing. It's just fun. Entertaining neighbors and friends. She's always a fun friend and wants to keep everybody laughing and entertained, so she's doing it. And during a tough time, giving Christine something to look forward to. Trash day. <laughs> Sometimes laughter is the best medicine. It's the trash pandemic. Happy Trash Day. <laughs> Happy Trash Day, indeed. I absolutely love Christine. Her spirit, she was so much fun uh, to hang out with for the amount of time that we were with her for. And she has been doing this for 20 weeks, and she admits that most of those costumes are from past Halloween costumes that she's done, but she says she has bought a few here and there to keep the tradition going, and that asked her if there's any finish line uh, in sight. She says at some point she'll probably have to stop, but right now she's going full speed ahead. But the question I did have for her is what she was going to go for as Halloween. I suggested a trash person, but uh, what, what a great way to turn a negative into positive and really just find something to smile about in such a for so many people. Yeah, Austin, uh, two things I thought about and you kind of answered it was, man, I mean, she has to th like think about these costumes and go buy them and everything. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. But I also thought for sure you were going to appear in that story dressed up, taking out the trash. But I guess you've probably never done that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I actually have a, a big pile of trash right now in my apartment that needs to go down the garbage chute. But yeah, I don't have to bring anything to the curb. I'm in an apartment. All right, get to work. <laughs> <laughs> See you, bud. Jeez. So technical, Austin. You can still take trash to the trash chute all dressed up.